All right, guys, you got me. Time for some PUBG gaming on the Galaxy S10 Plus. All right, guys, yes, I finally heard everything you guys said. I apologize. I am playing PUBG on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, if you guys still wanna watch my other gaming video, go ahead and click on the cards there. I do have that. I played, of course, a bunch of games on there. And some of you ask about Fortnite. I did play Fortnite. Um, it was hard to me, for me to find anyone to kill for a while, so I kinda of stopped and it's not my biggest game, but I did play some of that. And I also use the SteelSeries uh, Stratus Duo controller. Some of you have asked about that controller. If you'd want to pick it up, use that link down below. It's an awesome controller to actually use to game. Um, on any system, but I decided to play PUBG here, no controllers, so I can hold it in hand and you guys can see. Now, the Galaxy S10 Plus comes with, of course, the 855 processor, up to 40% GPU improvement from the 845 and 30% CPU improvement. So, you should see a lot of improvement in terms of gameplay. Now, just to let you know, PUBG is not optimized yet, so we'll have to see how it handles with an unoptimized game for this system. And this thing comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, standard on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now you can get a 12 gigabyte version if you want to, but hey, that's up to you if you want to spend more money. This version here is eight gigs of RAM and it's the only version that has the vapor cooling chamber, meaning it will cool your system faster and better while gaming um, over the S10e and S10. Once I get the S10e in, I will do a gaming video on that as well. So stay tuned, see if that actually heats up more. Um, but anyway, got to play PUBG. I played for about maybe three hours combined and uh, it was a lot of fun, but you know what? I'll just shut up and show you the gameplay and you can be the judge for yourself.
All right, so there you have it, guys. That was PUBG on the Galaxy S10 Plus, and it handled it pretty well. I had no issues whatsoever. I had one glitch, but it felt like a glitch and it felt like something that, you know, hey, optimization would do much better on, but it ran really, really smooth. No slowdowns whatsoever. I was able to communicate. I was able to talk. I was able to play. Uh, I know the clips I showed, I didn't actually talk in that. I had some other clips I actually conversated with people I was playing with, but everything ran really, really well. Now, in terms of the vapor cooling, that also worked well. Um, it's got a little warm in about 30 to 45 minutes of gameplay and just stayed like that like little warmer, that was it. It didn't heat up, didn't feel burning, I didn't feel like I need to take my hands off the uh, the, uh, the Galaxy S10 Plus, so that was really good. Battery life also, um, I would say I lost about 25% in about an hour uh, and a half of gameplay, uh, which is not bad actually after all. I'd opt I put it on battery optimized level so it understood that was gaming and it optimized for that fact. So uh, take it as you will. But the Galaxy S10 Plus handles PUBG really, really well for you PUBG fans. And I've got to say, I won, I won my first and second chicken dinners with this uh, uh, gameplay session. So thank you very much, guys, for that. I appreciate everyone watching and everyone asking me to make this video. Um, if there's anything else you want to see on the Galaxy S10 Plus, let me know. I know some of you are waiting for my speaker test. That is coming, comparing it with the S9 and the uh, S9 Plus and the Note 9. So stay tuned for that. And there might be a little special surprise in that. Not sure yet, but just stay tuned. That's coming soon. And we'll be doing one on the fingerprint sensor, uh, comparing it to other uh, under display fingerprint sensors, see how well it works. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Uh, definitely go check out our other videos. We've got a lot of stuff from MWC as well, uh, at least if you're watching it around the MWC timeline. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, and if you're watching this for the first time, hit the subscribe button and also the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.